So today we're going to be making a bonsai forest on a slab pot with these Japanese larches that's recently come in and this is the pot that we're going to be using today now you can go check out how I make these pots in another video I'll link it in the description and this one has plenty of drainage holes but first we need to be putting the wire inside the pot and we're going to need more than a few of them just to be able to get the job done now I am using two to three millimeter thick wire nice strong wire to hold the trees down Now that's the pot done and we've got plenty of wire in there to be able to hold the trees down and it's now time to go get the trees for preparation and it's actually a nice spring day. Now there's definitely a bonsai forest in there if I've ever seen one and a few people may even say that I'm pushing my luck with the work to be done today as the buds are now pushing they would say that it's too late to do the work but I'm going to have to politely disagree with them we've still got a little bit of time left now for the first tree and it's my favourite out of the bunch it's the thickest one in the collection and it's got a root at the bottom of the pot which indicates that it's going to be nice and shallow but let's see if I'm right the soil is moving very easily with no roots in the top soil and it's looking very promising so far So these are definitely vine weevil grubs, definitely something you don't want growing within your plant pot or any tree in general. And because of that I'm guessing that's why the root ball here isn't its greatest, but we can still put it to good use. Don't worry, we're not going to go through every single tree, but we are going to skip to the soil and we're using Kaizen number 2 and we're going to be using it as the base before we work the trees in and it should aerate the roots nicely Now these trees are a little bit too much in the centre but if we move them to the side a bit it should give a better composition. So I do like to put the curving trees to the outside as much as possible as it gives a more convincing image as you would see in nature of the tree and trying to fight for the light against its brothers and sisters within the grouping. And here we are filling in the empty air pockets as we're wiring in the trees just to give them a better hold as we're doing the job. So now it's time to build a mud wall around the bonsai soil as this will help prevent the soil washing away during watering and heavy rain.
Now as we have removed around 90% of the soil that these trees came in and they've been moving around a lot as we've got them wired in it's now time to fill in any empty air pockets that are left over as if we left them in there it can be rather detrimental to the tree's health Now it's time to do a little bit of work on the top of the forest and there's not much we can do now considering we have disturbed the roots but we can remove what is dead So if you like this video, please comment, like and subscribe or even share it. But if not, no worries and I'll catch you in the next one.